Peter Atkwase with the uh, Uganda Wildlife Conservation Education Center. And today we celebrate Zakayo Day. We celebrate his legacy. Zakayo was our oldest chimpanzee that we had here in Uganda and in East Africa. He died at uh, the age of 54 and he had done so much as a chimpanzee, as a member of the group. He was liked by so many and he had done so much as an alpha once upon a time for the chimpanzee group that we have here. Uh, we have a number of chimpanzees, close to 20 plus chimpanzees at, at the center. And uh, I would want everybody to note that uh, chimpanzees are affected by so many challenges in the wild, especially habitat loss. So this is why today, as part of the activities to celebrate his legacy, we have chosen to plant a number of trees, especially indigenous trees, that you would normally find in the forest where the chimpanzees live. Uh, today we've uh, embarked uh, on this activity to plant different trees in what we call the Budongo chimpanzee exhibit, or the forest basically that surrounds the chimpanzee island where we have our chimpanzees here at work. And uh, the trees that we've planted this morning includes uh, Makami alutea, we have uh, uh, Ficus species, we have uh, Terminalia species, we have uh, Albizia species, and we have some Mahogany species as well. So these trees will go a long way in trying to preserve this forest, which would naturally be uh, the habitat for chimpanzees. Uh, in this forest, the chimpanzees obtain uh, fruits, they obtain uh, leaves to feed on, and they also use uh, the leaves of the trees as beddings because every, every day, every night, a chimpanzee will make a new nest or a new bed because you don't know who, who slept in the nest before. So you have to make a new bed. So it is very important for chimpanzees to have lots of trees in their, in their environment or in their habitat. Uh, this Makami Alutea, it's a very indigenous tree to Uganda. It's also called uh, Lusambia in Luganda. It also has medicinal value. It's used to treat eye, nose, throat problems, what we normally term as ENT. And it's also been seen to have some anti antioxidant properties and therefore it can be used in relief or treatment of some cancers, although that is not uh, put on, 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 on paper or not, not researched enough, but we have some information that it could be used towards that. And it is also a very important tree in terms of providing timber, and it is also very fast growing. So some of the people out there who are doing, are clearing away indigenous trees and planting uh, exotic trees like the, um, the eucalyptuses and, and some other species of trees, they could actually embark on growing Makamia trees because they're indigenous, they are very good for the soil, but they're also very used uh, for making timber and they are fast growing, so it would be very, very important to plant these trees. So we are very happy to celebrate Zakayo Day and Zakayo Legacy on the 27th of October this year. <laughs> I posted something yesterday about him.
Zakayo lived here with a family of chimps and at that time he had two wives, uh, uh, Amina and Ruth, who are currently still alive. He is believed to have sired a, a baby with Amina, but we know that it's not actually his baby. It is uh, a baby of one of the other chimps who is no longer alive. And uh, however, because it was Amina and Amina being one of his wives, he adopted, he adopted that baby and he took care of that baby as his own. And that baby is called Shaka. He's also here on the island currently. So um, Zakayo was a very uh, uh, kind chimp. He liked other chimps. He liked especially the young ones. He also liked uh, uh, bringing harmony, you know, in the group. He was a good leader. He liked bringing harmony in the group. He did not like chaotic situations, you know. So um, at the time of his passing, he left uh, behind his two wives and then the adopted uh, uh, son plus uh, uh, 22 other chimpanzees that are currently here in Uwek. Yeah. So Zakayo died at the age of 54. And uh, he, however, had so many friends, especially young children, school primary going children. They always came here, they sang for him, and, uh, and uh, it sort of put us in a situation that Zakayo is actually known and Zakayo was loved by so many other people. So we thought as an institution that, yeah, we could actually give Zakayo a hair, name uh, one of the chimps after him. And we have a chimp that we named after him. He's around uh, four, around four, five years old. So we hope that that Zakayo legacy can continue with, uh, the, with uh, the presence of the other chimp. Once he's brought here to the island, I'm sure people will be able to identify him because he's a little bit unique also in his own ways. But um, generally, uh, Zakayo uh, uh, left a very big legacy that everybody actually seems to be asking and is interested in. And we also hope that uh, with uh, the efforts that are being put in conservation, not only Zakayo, but all other chimps are going to be protected and also the habitats are going to be well protected for the next generation. Other prospects that we have that we look at as conservation agency as you work is that we are looking at creating satellite centers. So these satellite centers they'll be in areas, especially where there is intense human wildlife interaction, especially whereby we have communities which are adjacent to protected areas. So that when there is a rescue of an animal in that particular area. We don't need to bring the animal at the center. The animal can be retained in that particular place, used for, re to, for, for, used for other purposes, or else we rescue, rehabilitate, and take it back into the wild. Or else we retain it for conservation, education. So that's one of our long-term process, uh, something we are looking at, that we look at that is ideal, that can, will help to, to do conservation. 
And then also, the other thing that we are looking at is that uh, we look in at creating a sanctuary in a place where chimps are. So that when you rescue a chimp, for example, if it is a Budongo Forest Reserve, you create a sanctuary within that particular place. So that if the chimp has been rescued from that particular locality, you can rehabilitate it. If it is sick, you can treat it. Then after it has fully been rehabilitated, you can easily integrate it and incorporate it back into the troop where it was rescued from. Then also another thing is that we are trying to enhance our networking, uh, partnering with other zoos abroad, even other partners, even other international agencies like International Union Conservation of Nature, uh, the Biodiversity Commission, the, some of these authentic organizations that uh, have the heart and the passion of conserving biodiversity. So those are some of our long-term process, uh, long-term projects that we have in the pipeline to see that conservation is taken as one of the things, the program which is very serious. But as I'm winding up, one of the biggest challenges that we are having is that uh, most, especially the Ugandans, they, the few, few of them, they have impressed the concept of conservation. But most of them, they still have the mindset, these are animals, these are what, which I, which I think is not uh, ideal. People need to know that nature is not all about humans. Nature, it is a cocktail. It encompasses a lot of things. So we need them, they also need us. But they, we need them more than they need us. I posted something yesterday about him. Thank you.